in the midst of a quickly building major snowstorm, a crowd packed the Sports Expo Center at the National Sports Center for Free to Be's ninth annual food tasting event. The event has grown over the years to become a community celebration. It's a fundraiser for us for Free to Be, but it really is a huge community event. Usually draws about a thousand people to it. Um, and this is our ninth year of doing that. The Get Your Taste On event allows Free to Be to fulfill its mission, serving the transportation needs of Anoka County's residents. We repair cars and we give cars to families in the community um, that need them, that are low income, and they need them to get to work or get their kids to appointments. So this fundraiser for us will allow us to do that. That's paying for repairs, that's purchasing parts for their cars, and that's allowing us to give cars like the one that's behind me away tonight. Since its inception in 2000, Free to Be has given away more than 850 cars and has repaired more than 3,500 cars. Having reliable transportation is especially important for individuals who live outside of a major core city. That is why Free to Be is focused on helping those in need, specifically in Anoka County. Having good transportation, especially in Anoka County, is huge because the transit system is just not developed enough. So depending where you live in Anoka County, and if you need to get to work, especially for a second shift job, the chances there's a bus or something that will get you there, it's pretty small. Uh, and then there's the additional challenges. Even many of our clients are moms with two or three kids, even trying to get on and off a bus or the traveler to go to the store and get a few bags of groceries, it's a real challenge. Jim went on to say that his organization is often the last hope for many of their clients. Often the people we're working with are really just hanging on by a thread. If we can be that stopgap that keeps them out of becoming homeless or having to move into a shelter, that's what we're really about. Knowing this great need, the community at large has responded to the message and the mission of Free to Be. Somebody once said it takes a village, and it really is true that it takes a village or a community. And so tonight we have volunteers from Sam's Club, from Cummings Generator. They're the people that are going around wiping the tables, emptying the trash. They helped with the setup. They're help, they'll help later getting the restaurants packed up. We have 30 of the finest restaurants in the area here tonight. They show up, they serve their food and staff it. They don't charge us a thing. North Country Ford gave us the van that's behind me. I mean, it really is a community effort um, because people understand that they're helping their friends, their neighbors, the people that they worship with. Their kids go to the school with, with these other people's kids. The next time you complain about traffic, having to sit in a cold car, or the price at the pump, remember the smiles on the faces of this family who received a van from Free to Be at the event. And to me what makes it so special is the family that's receiving that. Somebody had to give them a ride here tonight, but after 6 o'clock tonight, they're going to drive out of here, and now mom will have a way to get to work, kids will have a way to get to school activities, to doctor appointments, to stores, all those things that we take for granted. So. While the rest of us have complained this year about having to get our cars warmed up, she's going to be thankful that now she's going to join us and have to have a car to warm up. For North Metro TV News, Ben Hale reporting.